Hello and welcome to Free Play in Hurton, Germany for the North Rhine-Westphalia Interleague Challenge of 2020. This uh, tournament was actually played yesterday so I'm just here giving a quick uh, over-commentary uh, to help you enjoy the three final games in that tournament. But before I do, I would just like to explain a little bit about the tournament format because it is not um, standard and I think uh, some players will find it quite interesting. If you're not one of those people then please skip forward about three or four minutes uh, where you will find the action on the three games for the final. Links below will uh, show you timestamps that you can link on your computer and jump straight to the start of each game as usual. Okay, so to explain the um, tournament format, I'm going to show you the standings at the end of the qualification period. Uh, the qualification period consisted of 15 rounds um, with all players playing in teams. So there are uh, 15 teams, which you can see here. Okay, and there was one joker because you have to have an even number in the in the pairings. And basically every team played everybody else, every other team, to make the 15 rounds. The teams are made up from these players. And the tournament, each round, is a head-to-head -head match play where the, the uh, three players from one team are drawn against three players from another team. And we also further organise the tournament so that those three games are played on pinball machines which are next to each other. And that is to encourage team play, to encourage motivation from one player to another, explanation of pinball rules uh, and general help, which is allowed um, in, between, uh, in between play. Obviously not allowed when the, when the player is uh, playing a ball. Um, but it results in a very, uh, well, an extremely friendly uh, atmosphere for the tournament and great fun. So um, anybody else, any other country wanting to adopt that format, um, just get in touch with us here. This, this software that runs this is written by a guy called Robbie Van Keller, um, who is based in uh, Seligenstadt. Um, and uh, it really does make a great fun tournament uh, it qualifies, of course, with the head-to-head -head part individually for IFPA ranking points, but the team element of it makes it just so much more fun and interesting. So anyway, I uh, hope you like that. Um, this, this software was perfectly capable of going through and doing the finals, um, but we uh, decided to make it a little bit simpler and run the finals on a Google spreadsheet. So that you can see in front here. So the same, uh, same nine players here uh, are qualified, yeah, and they play basically in groups of three because the whole system is is uh, geared around the number three. So the the team part of this this has then lost. This is now individual uh, head to head final. Um, so groups of three, three games, uh, but the it's not the normal format. It's not the same people flowing through playing three games it's a mix of players so uh, Jim Lindsay me for example played here uh, in uh, position three on Earthshaker game one um, lost by the way but anyway lost the next one as well so then played Adam's family against Kirsten and Dina and the final game I played Attack from Mars uh, which I lost again so not very good performance but that's just yeah, unfortunate. Um, anyway, so the result is shown here. Uh, and we finished up with four people uh, with joint 15, uh, 15 points. And they played a tie-break game, a single game on a classic called Warlock. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to stream that as it's in the cellar of our pinball club and we couldn't get the rig down to the cellar. However, um, I can tell you that Denise came first in that uh, tie-break, Kirsten came second, and uh, Dina, my wife, came third. So those three players uh, 
progressed to the final games, which we're going to see very, very soon. Okay, so enjoy, and uh, I'll see you in between each game. I'm not going to commentate over the games. Uh, the um, the pinballs have great call outs, and I think you'll just enjoy listening. So I'll see you after this first game on eight ball. Thank you.
Okay, so hope you enjoyed that game of uh, eight ball. Well, no, I did. Uh, and at the end of that, of course, Kirsten Adam took seven points, uh, Denise Clemens took four points, and Dina Lindsay with one point. So the uh, progression through to game two, the uh, player in last position, Dina, will play first, Denise will play second, and Kirsten will play third. And um, this is on another wonderful game called Junkyard. So please enjoy this one. Thank you.
thing. Now get the bicycle. Now you need the hair dryer. Yeah! Now 
back at the bathtub. Player three is on fire. Assemble.
Okay, so back again uh, after that uh, game on Junkyard, uh, great fun game. Uh, Kirsten Adam taking first place with seven points, Dina with four and Denise with one. So Kirsten Adam already in an unassailable position with 14 points after two games. The, uh, that doesn't take away though the excitement in the third game as both Denise and Dina are on five. So it's a battle between the ladies. Uh, let's see who comes out on top. Okay, enjoy the last game on the Theatre of Magic.
magic trunk. The metamorphosis. Shoot for the right staircase.
Okay, so uh, great final, I'm sure you'll agree, and the final standings you can see on the screen. Uh, Kirsten Adam taking an impressive 21 points, winning all three games. Uh, Dina uh, coming in an excellent position in second, and Denise uh, with a good third place result. Uh, well done to all the finalists, and in fact well done to all the players who played, uh, played this tournament. Uh, just a couple of photographs to show you as part of the presentations. So the uh, the first one is of the team tournament. Uh, the winners being Tiefin Western Team 1. On the right hand side is Heinz Burgers. In the middle is uh, yours truly, Jim Lindsay. And Parvis on the left hand side uh, looking uh, very proud. The um, uh, second photograph is of the triumphant winners in that tournament so Kirsten uh, the rose between two thorns with Denise on the right and Dina looking very very pleased on the left so that's it for uh, the North Rhine Westphalia challenge for 2020 we will be back with uh, streaming next weekend from Fulda for the European Championship series that will be from Wednesday until Sunday, so four and a half days of hard competitive pinball. Uh, that will be great fun. We'll be streaming, of course, on Twitch, uh, JDL Pinball Channel, search us out. And if you uh, don't manage to catch us live, uh, the finals of those tournaments will be posted on YouTube in about two weeks' time. Okay, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.